Hey guys, welcome back to Mediocre Commentaries, and today we're going to be doing Tower of Dreams and Caverns, or T-O-D-A-C, Todak. Anyway, uh, this tower is a bit longer, so this may be a bit of a longer video, so uh, yeah, let's get into it. And uh, this tower is pretty fun, but some of the jumps are long, and it has a lot of tightrope spam, so be prepared, I guess. Now these first few jumps, uh, just do a wrap around like that. Don't, don't do that. Um, that, yeah. If, if you do fail those jumps, then just reset the tower because those wobble a bit too much for me at least. For me at least, you don't have to. Uh, this jump is a bit, uh, worse because it got a little cover, so you have to kind of... I don't even know what happened there. I'll meet you guys back. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go into first person for this just because it's easier. Anyway, just do that and you'll be good. It's, uh, it's one of the only really hard jumps of the tower. Anyway, just uh, for this wrap, just try to go yourself at max and then just jump over. Okay guys, welcome back to Teaching with Pumpkin. And today we're going to be talking about ghosting. Uh, so basically, uh, ghosting is a technique where you, like, so you go and don't use shift lock and it's for tight ropes, just scroll one out and then if you keep your mouse in the middle and you, you can just walk along the tight rope as long as your mouse is on the tight rope. It's a pretty cool, sh eh, it's helpful, basically. Uh, these ones don't carry, those spinners don't carry you with them, so you have to, uh, yeah, just, <laughs> I don't know what, what to talk about them. Anyway, right here, you just got some little things you gotta wrap around. Uh, that, that pusher right there, uh, we'll get to it. Uh, this pusher is a juke, you have to go out here. And then you have to, this thing is supposed to push you up, but sometimes it just doesn't. So just wait until it bounces you really high, then you go over here and climb up with this truss. And, uh, yeah, generic outside section. And then just go over here. And there is a catch zone on every floor, so it's okay if you fall. A uh, big conveyor here. And then uh, you're up to floor two. And this is an ascending tower, by the way. It may look like it's a descending, but it's an ascending. Anyway, ah, I somehow failed that rep. Anyway, just go around here. Then uh, you want to jump from that angle there. And just go over here. And then you got some uh, just normal wraparounds. There's not really much to commentate on floor 2 since it's just... Do you have to wrap around those? You probably have to wrap around those. I'm just probably being dumb. I'll meet you guys back up there. Okay, not being dumb. Yeah, I think you just got to wrap around these... You can go in first person if you want for those, but yeah. These ones just jump. And this maze, uh, just mimic my movements, and not, because I'm not gonna go through, like, all the, all, every way. Anyway, just mimic my movements, and you should be fine. Uh, this is not a possible jump if you would look at that. Uh, there's a little invisible platform under it that you have to go under. And then you just got this pusher. It's a bit slow, so be careful. You might take some damage, and then just go over here. I'm pretty sure that one's fake since it has it's slightly discolored, so just jump on the ladder. I don't really want to test it since I don't want to fall, so yeah. And then uh, you're up to uh, floor three. And uh, you have to do the do wrap around that, and you have to do that for each jump, and these jumps are a bit weird to do, but you should be fine. Anyway. Then after that, you just got some standard wraparounds, easy stuff. And then, uh, jump on here, go over here, and then, uh, get ready for lots of tight ropes. That's a little conveyor jump, so, yeah. Now, this is where ghosting is really useful. This is, this is an invisible platform, by the way. Anyway, uh, go on this half stud thing, and then jump over here. Now get ready for, like, five minutes of tight ropes. <laughs> anyway, just use the ghosting thing I talked about earlier. I mean, this walled one is a bit weird, so I would recommend just jumping it with shift walk. Anyway, uh, just ghost it. And ghosting is also helpful since it, um, you, it, it blocks out the neon so you, so you can see the actual tightrope easily, more easily. Anyway, if you fall, just try to put your cursor back on the actual tightrope. Anyway, yeah, this section is kind of long. Then you got another wall one. And, uh, walled. Walled uh, tight ropes kind of suck, but yeah, it's okay if you fall there. Don't feel bad because those take a bit to get used to. But pretty much just jump if they're at a wall, like if you have to step on a tight rope from a wall. 
You'll, you'll know the jump when you see it. I mean, those kind of jumps when you see them from a point. Anyway, just more tight ropes. Lots and lots of tight ropes. There are way too many tight ropes in this tower, in my opinion. But nonetheless, the tower is pretty creative, so I'll give it that, at least. Also, you do need to know emote glitching for this tower, and I'll get to that on 410. And that's literally the final thing you have to do in 410. So, yeah. Get, uh... Look up what uh, emote clip clipping is, or not laugh clipping. Laugh clipping is different altogether. It's uh, slash e dance two clipping. So just look that up. Look up a tutorial. Get good at it. Also, uh, forget what I said about uh, not being able to play on mobile. Uh, this they just added mobile shift lock, not for Roblox entirely, but just for this game. Uh, J uh, Jupiter added mobile shift lock. So good job. Now floor four. Just uh, it looks like you have to go across all those studs. You don't. You can just jump up here. Then wait for this platform. There you go. And uh, go on this zip line. And then you got this little speed section. And then uh, you don't want to go on this pusher, it's again a juke. You want to go outside. And do that wrap and this is where uh, the worst one studs are in the tower just because ugh. anyway jump on here then you can start ghosting if you want but I'm just gonna do the jumps anyway you got this little balloon you need to go over there not up there you need to uh, use the balloon to get over there anyway just do that with the balloon and then you can start ghosting if you want but I would I would heavily recommend ghosting since it just makes some of the jumps and tight ropes easier uh this one you want to probably use shift lock since you need to i have to do a jump off of this tight rope the tight rope just does change directions at that little block so yeah be careful anyway uh once you get up here just do a little jump and then you can just it looks like you have to uh, wrap but you can just jump on these and then you got the worst one studs in the tower because they're on a rope you want to do these real fast or else you're gonna probably wobble off since I don't think they retain your traction which means that they don't carry you with them well I mean I don't know anyway uh, here you could bump this and then just do this jump which is frankly easier in my opinion or you could do the platform but I'm not since I'm a gamer anyway uh wait, let me make sure OES is recording okay it is good anyway do these one studs and if you fall it's okay you can just get back up you got that jump, which is a bit far. Then you got this one stud. How did I fail the one stud? <laughs> I'll meet you guys back. Okay, not failing the one stud this time. Actually, go up to floor... Four. <laughs> I don't remember what floor this is. It's either four or five, but anyway. Orange four. Anyway, you got these one stud jumps. This one's a little far, so... Yeah. That can happen, but... Again, after every four, there's a catch zone, so you should be okay. Let me get back over here. Anyway, yeah, that one is Can Collide Falls, I'm pretty sure. Let me check. Yeah, it's Can Collide Falls, so you have to make uh, that jump. Anyway, then jump over here. Then uh, jump over... <sighs> Sigh. That's just embarrassing. I'll meet you guys back up there. Okay, to be frank, I don't know how I messed up that jump. And now get ready for weird. Uh, so it looks like, so the arrow is pointing up there, and that's what exactly what you have to do. So jump on this, and then you just climb on nothing. You climb on nothing. Nothing at all. And you got a few easy one studs. Then you got another platform that you wait for. So just wait for this, and then go. And then you got this part, the conveyors don't matter, just keep jumping to the right, really. And then you got another tightrope part, so haha, ha, fun, fun. More tightropes, everybody loves tightropes, right? If you don't love tightropes, get out. Anyway, um, yeah, just more tightropes, I don't really know how to commentate on literal tightropes. Anyway, that jumps a little weird, so just be careful, I suppose. Anyway, just keep walking, walking simulator 2K19. And you should be good. Uh, this one, you gotta lean against the wall like this, and then you gotta do a backwards one stud jump. <sighs> so I did the, I, so I do the jump right. I do the jump, and then I mess up an easy jump. So I don't know what's happening. I'll meet you guys back up there. Okay, uh, not being an idiot this time. Uh, just go over here, <laughs> and don't fall, or else you have to do the terrible jump again. 
And another thing is that I just noticed that uh, the music just forgot to load, I guess, for this floor. So, I don't, I don't know. Uh, let me check something real quick. Um, sorry about the little, uh, if you heard the little, like, pounding sound in the background for that last part, because, uh, apparently, uh, I forgot to turn off the Twitch stream I was watching. So, yeah, you, you got to listen to that for a second. Anyway, uh, d yeah, this floor is something. I don't really like it, but, yeah. And the music hasn't seemed to, seem to load for this floor either, so, haha. Anyway, for this part, you just gotta go up here and then push the little ball friend down to this part. And then you just jump up here. And then you go around here. And then you go to the THX logo, so haha, funny. Oh, uh, yeah, anyway. I don't even know how I fell there, I just walked off. Uh, I'll meet you guys back at the THX logo, I suppose. Okay, I don't know the actual strat for doing this, but what I like to do, I go in the little top part of the H, and then I just do that jump, but I'm pretty sure you're supposed to go over there, and then do that ladder, and then just do it, but I like to do that because I like to do that. There's my logic. Anyway, for this ladder thing, you want to go on the side, then just kind of go over it. I don't know what that strat's called, but it is indeed a thing. And now you got this little spinner, it's, it's like 3 4 stud or something, and then you need to land on this tightrope, so... Uh, land on the tightrope, I guess. Anyway, I'm gonna ghost this just because it's easier for me. Anyway, just more tightrope spam, because... Who doesn't love tightrope spam? I'm gonna go in uh, just normal first person for this last part. Uh, that little wall truss over there, um, it's a bit different, to say the least. Anyway, for this one, go up against the wall, and then, uh, that is floor five, I believe. And, uh, now you get flashlight, and this is where the tower gets kind of not better, to say the least. And now you got some random half studs in an intermediate tower, by the way. Intermediate. Yep. Because half studs, um, yep, they're supposed to appear in intermediate towers, so, yeah. I like to just flick around with half studs. But you don't have to do that, I just find it safer. But it's more of an advanced thing, so. If you if you want to learn it, I would recommend you go ahead and do it. And that's four six. Yep, that 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 short thing is four six. Now you get this really weird pusher. Uh just jump here and then just push out until you get caught on that. And then it'll start glitching out. So anyway, just Yeah. And I'll show you what happens if you fall and uh how you can get back up. Anyway, just got some normal wraparounds. Uh, using shift lock in this part is kind of sucky because uh, the flashlight and it's really dark in here. And you kind of need the flashlight. And what, what I find strange is that this tower does darkness better than Tower of Deep Darkness, which is a tower centered on darkness. And now you got this stupid little part where you have like little tiny tight ropes and you have to do tight rope jumps. Ugh, I don't want to do these again. Ah, uh, you have to do that. I don't understand. I literally don't understand why that's in the tower, but it is. For some reason, let me make sure OBS is recording. OBS is recording. Anyway, yeah, you have to do this tightrope jumps. You might fall a lot on that, but yeah. Tightrope jumps are bad, to say the least. Anyway, uh, just ghost this little tightrope again. And uh, go into shift lock for the last part because you have to do a little tightrope jump like that. And then you want to just find your way to balance on this plat on this platform, on this tightrope. Might take a bit, but you will get it. And then uh, you gotta do this. This it looks and it's a wall one, so it's hard. And so I don't want to do it, so I'm just gonna skip it. I'm just gonna skip that entire part. Anyway, just jump on that part, because I'm pretty sure doing the actual wall is harder than doing a tightrope jump, so, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna continue ghosting this. And then, uh, also, this is one of the worst floors in the tower, because I was on here for a lot longer than I wanted to admit when I first beat this, about, like, 40 minutes ago. Anyway, just keep jumping up, just keep walking on tightropes, because, uh, tightropes, I guess. And then you got this jump, and uh, this middle part is fake, as you can see, you can see through it. And then you got this terrible, terrible jump. You gotta do that. This tower has some really hard jumps for no reason. Okay, now we're on last floor. 
This last four has two parts, anyway. I'm just glad I did that, that, uh, 4 9 first try because 4 9 is so bad. Anyway, now you got, um, those jumps. I think they're called wraparounds or something. I, I don't know what they're called. But anyway, just do them. Do that. Those jump, those wraps are a little far, but you should be fine. And these ones, these are two stud stick outs, I actually believe they're called. Uh, so just. If I can actually do them, and I'll meet you back up there. Okay, actually doing the stick outs now. Yeah, they're a bit far, and you have to do it again. And so, yeah, have fun with those. <laughs> they are hard, to say the least. And then you got this nightmare. Basically, you guess just jump at the perfect time for that. Mm, yeah, because fun, fun, fun. Anyway, now you get teleported to gray, 410. This is where you need to emote clip, and so I'm going to teach you about emote clipping. So basically, it says dance, my little player, dance. So you want to line yourself up, uh, take your flashlight off, but you're kind of you're kind of going to need it to line yourself up. So go against this wall and shift log, make a little tiny gap like I'm doing. It's going to be kind of dark, so it's going to be kind of hard to see, but I am putting my camera next to my shirt, and then you do a slash E dance too. And when you're at and when you're at the absolute limit, like when you're at the absolute left, so let me do it again. What? Oh yeah, I can't be holding that. Uh, so you can't you can't just uh, con constantly do it. So basically, when your character is at there, that left point, then you want to uh, shift lock in again and then hold D. I'm not gonna make the most comprehensive guide on it right now, but I will be making a guide on advanced techniques into toe into toe in the future. So yeah, I'll explain it in more depth there. And then that's the end of the tower. Virtually, just go on this tree. It's a little one stud in the middle. Climb up it. And then you just walk. So, uh, congratulations, I guess. Now, uh, have fun with that tower, because I did not like it. I do not like this tower, but, uh, I'm going to make a guide on it nonetheless. So, anyway, uh, that's gonna wrap it up for today, so be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below what you want me to do next, and I'll see you guys next time.